the planets. Planets and skills. So these are lists. And I'm not sure the list is complete. I try to add as much as I can. I revise a lot of this um, to make sure I keep remembering all the possibilities of the planets. Sun loves reading, very organized, leader, studies Veda and Gita, likes rhythm, singing hymns and musical instruments. Now, the sun doesn't like singing hymns because they have a good voice. They like the rhythm, you know? So they're the ones who sing in chandas. Na, 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 na. Okay, they do that. They are singing constantly in a rhythm, chandas. They're following that. Moon, fond of history. Cosmology, genes, all these are a sense history, right? History of genes, history of creation, all history. Itihasa is the actual history books, right? So melod they'll have a melodic voice, very nice voice, and they'll be singers. The, they can change tones. They can change the chandas, the rhythm, and sing in a very melodious way. Fond, Mars is fond of martial arts, is fond of yoga. You know why fond of yoga? Because they, find, they need a spiritual way to blow up steam. So they do yoga instead of martial arts after some time. <laughs> they like weapons. They're good at handling fire. They worship God. This is because of fire worship, actually. All right. And they're good cooks because they're good at handling fire. Mm -hmm. All right. So when these planets are in trines to Navamsha Lagna, these traits will come out. Yeah, and one thing I want to ask here, many people say, so suppose this is there, suppose somebody has sun in trines. Now, suppose sun is debilitated or if it is afflicted, then if it is afflicted, can it happen that the person dislikes these traits? Or if it's and debilitated? Usually not. They will not dislike them. Even if it's debilitated, they will not dislike them. All right? And if it is and afflicted? They ignore them. If okay. it is afflicted, then? Uh, Still, they will not dislike. If it's in trines, they will like Okay, they, they will, they they will the, always like it. Yes. If, if, let's say moon is debilitated and trines to the The person will not pursue singing. Okay? But they like the idea. Okay? So if it's weak, they may not pursue, unless Bhagavatam. This is the chart of Lady Gaga. And uh, what do we expect? She's a musician, right? Either moon or sun in trines. She has both. Sun is there, moon is there. All right? Very accomplished musician. Saturn is also there. This is not so nice. Okay? So I have said Saturn can try and cause a shyness and or stage fight early on in life. She's actually a very private person in, 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 in personally. All right? She's even spoken that she has an issue with going in front of people because of the Saturn. She likes to shy away, hide somehow. All right? Introvert Mrs. Kant from Saturn. So we get to know that from this chart. This is there. Now you will ask later on why is it a profession? You'll get to that, don't worry. Yeah, and another question I have is here, Mars is also aspecting the Navam Shalagna. So will the traits of Mars also come? That will not come. No, will not come. Okay. Not even by its lordship of the Lagna will it come. Oh, okay. Not even that, it won't work. Okay. And here also it is Vrishtik uh, Navamsha. <laughs> Yes, yes, that's a separate issue. That's something we would like to know about her. I don't know this aspect of her, but it would be interesting. Okay, okay. Um, uh, let me see here. So, yes, what do we do about tri planets in seventh house? These are things you like, but you do not know how to do. Seventh house, you know. Okay. Even trines to seven. You like, but you don't know how to do. Truth be told, this also has some say in the person's sexuality. Okay, okay. okay. I'm not going to touch Lady Gaga's private life. Let's stay away from that. Okay. More planets. Mercury, writing, drawing, designing frameworks or architecture. If with moon, then medical doctor or excellent writer. Moon strong, writer. Mercury strong, doctor. Okay. If they're joined. So that's something you look for for doctors, this combination. Jupiter. Very singular focused, will study Vedanga, excellent at writing and grammar. The interesting thing about these traits that I'm listing out, uh, Babaji, is that you can also use these in Rashi chart to make out professions or even in Dashamsha. It's not only Navamsha, this is universal. Okay? The reason we like to study these is because then we, when we use them later on, we can, learn, we can uh, reuse the principles. Okay? Jupiter is very organized also, 
um, especially in matters of study and learning. Now, Venus, precise eye for detail, art, painter, poetical, often hums songs and tunes, great writer and even better orator, very artistic, will be, will be a good government servant, okay? Likes to serve the king. If with moon, will earn from courses and education. Slight change. If they're with the moon, earning from courses and education. Slight to change. High Jala Tattva. Very entrepreneuring people, by the way. Okay? Now, let's see if there's a chart for this. Here we have a chart. This is a, uh, a princess of Bavaria. And uh, she has Shani and the Lagna. So she must be very shy and introvert. I haven't given the Shani Sutra yet, but this, this must be the case. Mercury is in trines and is in his exaltation. It's the strongest planet here. Retrogression won't change this. She is an accomplished and prolific author. She dedicated her whole life just to writing. She even did not marry. Okay? In fact, when you see Saturn and Lagna, even if strong, there is a chance that there is something wrong here. Okay? There's a chance that there's something wrong about the person. Okay? She had a mental disease. Doesn't mean Saturn in Lagna will always cause mental disease. All right? But she had some very peculiar delusions. Like one of her delusions was she thought that when she was a child, she had eaten and swallowed a glass piano. Okay. Like gla piano, glass piano. All right? What's going on? <laughs> Something is off. When you see Saturn and Lagna in the Navamsha, something is off. I'm not going to explain how we figure out what's off, but there will be something that is amiss. Okay? Yes. So here you, you have written Mercury is exalted in the ninth house. Yeah. So she's a prolific author, writer. Okay? okay. Mercury is a writer. Mm -hmm. Somebody, especially Mercury is good for journalism. Okay. Journalism. Okay. So more, cl more planets. Saturn, very skilled, especially in traditional sciences. Bowmanship, pragmatic and can easily adapt to new circumstances. Can be shy and suffer from stage fright unless the sun mitigates this. Remember Lady Gaga's chart? Right? Okay. Rahu, very innovative, imaginative. And basically, the person is in their head all the time. <laughs> Often occupied with thoughts and thinks several thoughts at a time and mixes of thoughts can have trouble sleeping. So my Guruji says, they do kechari of their ideas, you know? You know, they have an idea about a machine with wheel, which, which has knobs on. Then they have an idea about a computer. And then they put the computer and machine together. That's called innovation, right? But before they did that, they thought about the machine and they thought about tomatoes and they put the tomatoes in the machine together and they got tomato sauce. And, and then the machine started rusting. Okay. That's how Rahu works. <laughs> they mix up things. Mm -hmm. Now this can be good if they have structure. Excellent in mantra and yantra and handling chemicals and in hunting. Okay. Excellent. All right. Yes. K2. Absolute perfectionist. Touch anybody with K2 in trans to know Amshalagna. They are absolute perfectionists. They are very difficult to handle, in fact. If K2 is Vargotama, this will also happen. They can be complete control freaks. All right. Completely. Can be skilled in mathematics. Is that value for precision? Working with precision and small machines or microprocessors. That is, their, that is their skill. Small details they can get into. All right. Often I find that Keto may not give math skill. All right. But they will surely be very detail oriented people. Yeah, because this was there in Venus also, if I remember. Um, that is, Venus is not good with, the, with small details. Venus is yeah. good with just understanding the detail in general. All right. Okay. Yes. Ketu is much one, more specific. One thing I want to ask here, if you go back to the slides regarding Jupiter and Sun, I wanted to ask something. Uh -huh. 
so uh, because i saw that uh, it was yeah jupiter was yeah study vedanga and if you go to sun it was shown, yeah uh, slightly different slightly different study yeah. veda and gita uh -huh. yeah slightly so, different okay sun yeah. is actually the one who goes for veda vedanta and bhagavad gita that kind of thing or any form of gita all right so they're slightly different because guru he says i will learn a whole vedanga okay vedanga so that is means, like jyotish but yes, if he's with Mangal, he goes for Jyotish. Mangal or Surya, Guru will go for Jyotish. Okay? If he is with, uh, with uh, let's say, Rahu or Shani, he goes for um, Mantra Shastra. For example, okay. that would be Siksha. Yeah, another question I have is, suppose Jupiter is placed in a particular sign, for example. I mean, you spoke of the conjunction. So also, the sign will decide, yes. Like if Guru is in Rishika or Mesha, it's Jyotish. Oh. Yeah. Even more than Sa Sagittarius Pisces, it should be Vrishik. Uh, uh, Sagittarius and Pisces, you may not be able to decide uh, with just that information alone. All right? Okay. Then you might have to look at the moon, the Uchanata of Jupiter, and then decide what it is. All right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, I didn't finish Ketu. And in fact, I found a spelling mistake here or addition. If with Venus, this Ketu will be very spiritual. And uh, if we, with both Venus and Saturn, the person performs intense penance. All right? Tapasvi. So Ketu can change a little bit because of these conjunctions. I think I have a chart here. Oh, yes. Ha -ha. I have this chart. And this is a chart I was trying to find of the Padma Sambhava. He's the uh, person who ensured Buddhism was organized and established, all right? He, he, in sense, he, in essence, made the temples, organized the whole paradigm, the practices, everything, all right? He's the reason for that, Padma Sambhava. Yes. And we see here's Jupiter in the Navamshalakna. You see that? You're asking about this, okay? In Sagittarius. So what does he focus on? Look at the Lord of the sign. There's no Lord of the sign because this is just Jupiter. So look yeah. at the moon, because he's Uchanata. Now, moon is in Scorpio. So there's a lot of focus on Martian studies. So this can be Jyotish. So he must have been very good at Jyotish. Okay? So very organized and focused on that. Very scholarly and organized modern Buddhism. So every time Jupiter associates, the person is very scholarly. All right? Like I have Jupiter in Trines to my Ramsha Lagma. I'm, I always, when people talk to me, I'm quoting this shloka, that shloka, this classic, this work, this. It's like I have a database of information in here, which helps you remember where did I read something. Okay, so that, like is, that. that is more if Jupiter is there. And if Mercury is there, that may not be the case in Trines. Mercury is not into so much of, of going back and, and, say, and you know, giving those uh, things. But Mercury loves references. All right. They're like parrots. So Mercury is a good author and writer. When you speak to them, you may not know. But when they write, you will okay, see, wow, right. every line is like a reference. Okay? okay? But when they speak, they're not like that. But they're very studious. They are scholarly in the sense of their, in their written work. But Jupiter, the, the person is like a living database. Okay, okay. So can that also be said for anybody who has a SAG or a Pisces, Navamsa, Lagna? Does that also hold true to some Unfortunately, extent? not necessarily. You need the planets there. Okay. All right? You okay. need the planets. They are inclined, but without Jupiter, it's not there. All right? And if it's not there, don't push it. Okay? It's good. Yeah. Don't push. Use yeah. what you have. Don't knock what you don't have. Okay, and one thing I wanted to ask, suppose a uh, planet is in debit, like suppose Jupiter is in trines, here it's in own sign, uh, in Multicon, that's great. But suppose it is debilitated, so what, what does it mean? That that trait is there, but he or she has not developed it, or how do you see it? it? Yes, the, the development is not strong, and also lack of confidence. Okay. Yeah. And oh. One more thing I wanted to ask, suppose there is a planet which is exalted or debility or in own sign but not in trines in the navamsha in yeah. some other house yeah so, uh, does it mean that the person can have those traits also because it is exalted or in own sign or i've never learned that nor is it my experience but if the planet is Bhagotama, they can have that trait okay and uh, something i have not mentioned yet all these results i have mentioned also apply 
not only to trines to Navamsha Lagna, but trines to the Atmakaraka in Navamsha. Trines to Atmakaraka in the Navamsha. Yes. Okay. Because the slight difference is, there's a slight difference. The trines to the Atmakaraka in Navamsha are all those traits you want to have. All the things you want to study. All the things you wish to acquire. But the trines to Navamsha Lagna are all those traits you have already acquired since the past life. Okay, so the Lagna, the Lagna trines will show what you have and Atmakaraka trines will show what you want. Yep, exactly. Okay. Yes. And for those who don't know what Atmakaraka is, the planet with the highest degree. <laughs> yes, exactly. Karakamsha. Yes. In this particular chart, Venus, Saturn, and Ketu are in trines. You see them joined here, perfectly joined. The person performed intense penance on several occasions and was said to have mystic powers. All right? said to have mystic powers. You always look, when you see these three together, you know this person is very austere. Very special person has come to this planet. These are the ones who are hardcore vegetarian, hardcore spiritual practitioners, hardcore meditators, these kind of people. Saturn Ketu conjunct. You need Venus. Okay. Without Venus, it's not there. Okay, and Venus also, perfect, perfect. It's like this, you need Venus, and the minimum is Venus with Ketu very austere people okay oh, right venus ketu saturn tapasvi yoga and if this happens in trines this is like fantastic that is superpower okay let me just say you don't want to be around them oh. <laughs> they are very hard people they can really focus their energies in a powerful direction okay tapasvi they are not relaxed people okay now the thing is, what happens if Venus is joined Saturn? I know that question will come up. Forget the Pasya. Okay. <laughs> okay? Without that Ketu controlling that Venus, no Tapasya is there. So Saturn right? Venus will be the opposite of Tapasya, that's what you mean? Venus Saturn, you can be a complete, uh, you know, it causes high passion. All right? Okay. Very high passion. You need Ketu to control that Venus. Otherwise, don't even talk. What happens if Saturn and Ketu are, 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 are there, but not Venus? Just forget it. The person is acting like they have done sadhana. Oh. Without Venus, there is no drive to do anything. So these are what we call fake sadhus, Saturn Ketu alone. Okay, interesting. You need all three. Otherwise, it's not there. Okay. Yeah. In fact, Venus, Saturn alone. More like movie star combination. Because right. I thought maybe Mercury, Venus will give that, I was thinking. Mercury, Venus is different. That's different. Okay. It's different. Yes. So do you have more slides in this Trikona or we can continue the, it in the... No. Ah. <laughs> okay. So yes. we'll continue the Kendras. This is, I think, the most fascinating. We will, I'm going to try and consolidate some of this. Okay, so we will uh, do this in the next part. Okay, thank you very much. Stay tuned.